Hi, uh, Ewan again, Relative Track, YouTube, you can find me at Ewan's Classroom, which is where we are today. And I'm responding to a request from a student asking me to do a stability question. And this one in particular is March 2012, question two, which is a longitudinal question. So let's just have a look at it. I've got a copy of it up on screen. So let me just share that so we can both both, assuming there's more than one of you, have a look at it. Okay. Uh, vessel floating at draft 7.8 forward, 8.5 aft. All right, so we trimmed, which way? Trimmed by the stern. Uh, dark water density. As soon as you see dark water density, please, uh, in the exam, uh, I strongly recommend that you, you type, or you, well, you don't type, you write. Whatever that means, something jumps out at you, don't just read it and think it, actually write it on the paper. Writing it imprints it better on your memory. It's also there to refer to, to read, to see, to remind you as you're doing the calculation. So whenever I see dock water density, I'm gonna write the formula. Uh, weight, 80, weight equals volume times, here's my times, RD. That also means, if you like underwater volume, that's really what we're about, is weight divided by RD. Okay, uh, that's critical. What I'm also thinking, when it's just jumping to my head, is don't forget MCTC is going to have to be corrected for density. Right, the vessel is to load cargo to finish on an even keel. Aha, even keel, code for what? Right, even keel. That means. TMD to me. What does it also mean? LCB equals LCG. Uh, anything else pop into mind? Even kill, all the drafts are the same. No trim, TMD. TMD, what is TMD? Well, TMD means that you can access your hydrostatics. So that gets you through the front door of your hydros. That's pretty nice going. All right, so I'm gonna finish even kill. 8.560, right, that's the same as the aft draft. Okay, so we're just coming down by the head until we even kill. Two spaces available, number one hole, number five hole. Calm down, don't panic. I know it's not one that you like maybe, but I don't see why not. It's just practice it, it's a past paper question. Uh, so you've got reasonable expectation to, it may come up again, be ready for it. Just a little bit of algebra, and we're only using one X. We're not gonna use X and Y or Zs or anything. Right, <clears throat> using stability data booklet, right? You know where it is, you know what it is. <clears throat> Excuse me, calculate each of the following. Right, 15 marks, total weight of cargo to load. Fine, well, we got initial, we got final. That's simply gonna be a, a, a difference in displacement. To get the displacements, the displacements are in here. To get them, we need TMD. Initial TMD, initial displacement. Final TMD, final displacement. Compare 15 marks, thank you very much. Happy days. Part B, uh, weight of cargo to load into each hold. Well, that's going to happen in the LCG table uh, because three columns, weight, LCG, longitudinal moments. The weight of cargo to load into each hold appears in the first column. Now, normally, stage one is you get your initial condition finalized, your initial displacement and your initial LCG. Then you go into the LCG table to load, discharge, and shift your cargo to find your final condition. Well, in this question, they've given us the initial or initial drafts from which we can get initial displacement and initial LCG. And by giving us even keel with the draft in the final condition, they've effectively given us access to final displacement and final LCG. Therefore, the LCG table, we've got the top line, the bottom line. All we got to do is find where to put the cargo in the middle. That's fine, not a problem. So instead of step one, step two, step three, we're gonna do step one, step three, and we're gonna finish in step two. So what, not a problem. Okay, so we've got our warnings, we've got dock water, so don't forget to use volume. We're even keel, so hydros and MCTC. Okay, so we'll put that to bed and just open up our workbook and let's get started. Right, so I'll share my workbook with you as we calculate let me just get the computer set up and running you can see that all right i'll <clears throat> just take out the uh, 
the right hand margin so i'm restricted in the same way as you would be at sqa it's best to practice within that restriction so you don't get too comfortable to full width and then suddenly you're cramped up in sqa top center question number big all right make it easy for the marker to find the page that, that they're marking uh okay right let's have a, a wee look and pull some data around so question two draft forward 7.8 draft aft 8.56 rd i mean i don't have to write the rd but by writing it it puts it back onto my mind i'm going to remember that all right and we complete so final is 8.560 even keel all right now those two drafts i can't help myself what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to get trim and i'm going to get amd you don't have to do it this way you do it whichever way suits you uh it's just and i may not always do it exactly the same way every time so 7.8 Minus 8.56, all right, trim 4.760, all right, divide by two, add it to the lower number. Again, more than one way to skin a cat. Wow, that is absolutely not right. 7.8 plus 8.56, divide by two, that looks a lot more sensible. All right, so we got started. So let's do part A. Yeah, it says don't write in the margins, but you know, the ABCs, these are the SQA labeling. So I'm putting their labeling in their margins so that they can find the sections I'm working on. So I don't have a problem uh, doing that. I don't think, I've never seen any feedback saying you should, you shouldn't do any of your answer in the margins, left or right, but these are their labels. Don't put your own labels there, just theirs. All right, so part A, to find a cargo to load, we simply want two displacements, which means two TMDs, right, so, fine, we're trimmed, that means at AMD of 8.18, I need the LCF, all right, interpolation, 8.18, 8.1 ruler, it's not just because I'm old, it's because I'm a human, that means I messed this up, so, 8.18, so that's eight out of 10 centimeters, I put it in the memory just so I don't hit the buttons and mess it up. I want LCF, get the right column. The gap there is 0 0.08. So that times 0 0.08 is the correction. Numbers are going down. So minus 66.25, 66.19. All right, so formula TMD is equal to draft aft plus or minus trim times LCF over LBP. Formula, then values. Please tell the marker how you're doing it, what you're using to get what you get. Draft aft up there and pick up the wrong one. I'm sure I've done that a few times before. Now, is it plus or minus? Well, we trim by the stern. Therefore, true mean draft is less than aft draft by this correction. So. It's minus. Stop and think. Don't don't charge ahead. Okay. Three decimal places, please. That's the SQA preferred degree of accuracy. Right, so let's tell the examiner what we do next. At TMD 8.194, I want volume. V, volume equals. Right, let's go and find out. So a bit more interpolation, 8.194. So volume column. So I'm now 9.4, did that look right? Yeah. 0.18 is AMD April. Yep, yeah, that's those two should be similar. Shouldn't be very far away. So 
out of the 10. There's my interpolation factor or ratio. There's my values. Let's find the gap between them. So it's 975 minus 742 multiplied by my factor, which is in the memory. The values are going up plus 16742. So 16961 meters cubed. Fine. Now I want displacement. So displacement equals volume times RD. 16961. 1.015. I remembered it. Maybe because I wrote it down. I'll check it. Yeah, I'm all right. So volume is on screen. I simply multiply it by that. And I have my displacement. My tons. Okay, right. I just mark it so it's visual and I can find it in a minute. That's initial. Now let's go and do final. Uh, or even keel. So final. So at TMD 8.560 meters. That's even keel. So let's go and get the volume 8.560. Interpolation, so we've got six out of ten. Shift restore it into the memory. Come down in our volume column. Let's get our difference. Nine on one minus six seventy seven. Multiplied by interpolation factor is one hundred and forty, and we're going up six seventy seven. So one seven eight one seven cubic meters therefore displacement final seven eight one seven times the rd one eight eight four point seven well we don't need decimals i said that before so that rounds up to five tons okay so cargo to load Well, that's going to be final. 18085 minus initial 17215. And that will give us to load. Let's copy that's on screen minus 17215. 870 has the fives, right? 870 tons. And to make it easier for the marker, highlight it. Okay, happy days. Right. Deep breath, didn't take long, nice and easy. One page, 15 marks in the bank. And then on to part B. Back in a minute, I'll put it on a separate video.